A lot of you guys have been wanting to know how I uh, ship. So, I finally broke down, got a tripod. I think it's cutting my head in half. I could raise it, but you guys don't need to be seeing me. You need to see the box. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys how I ship from beginning to end. First thing you got to do is get your shipping box. And that is the outside carton that your styrofoam box goes in. And this is the one that I use. This says live harmless reptiles in red. Keep warm with the arrows going up. Um, I get this from Superior Styro, or I'm not exactly sure if I said that right or not. But I've got all their information. They're actually listed on my website. But this is the outside part that goes around the Styro. So we got to build this first. And when you buy these, you get the cartons, the Styro box, and the lids all separately by the piece. So you build it upside down. Got a tape gun. I like to put one, one piece of tape on, make sure the box is nice and square. And then I put the rest on. Battling bronchitis. Can you hear me back there, Grace? <laughs> Three or four pieces of tape is usually good. So here's what I got. I got my box started. This is the bottom. Got it taped. Three pieces. That'll get more once I go to uh, the airport. I'm doing this from the hip, so if I screw up, I'm going to keep on going. So we go like that. Next, next thing I do is I put in the styro. This is the styro, pro pack styro. There's the bottom, there's the lid. I just put that, that slides right inside of the box, right inside the carton. So then I close it all up. Now this is dependent on the temperature outside. In the summertime, you gotta poke, I poke holes in regardlessly. In the summertime, I poke three or four holes in each side. In the wintertime, I usually poke one in each side. Depending. It's kind of cold. I'm shipping Delta. I'm going to New York. It's cold, so I'm just going to put one hole on each side. And all I do is I take a pair of scissors, just like this, and I stick it in and twist. Go right on around the box. Poke it through. Twist it. Leave your holes, you're good to go. What you got is it, per it pops through your little nuggets there. Whoop. You get rid of them. So now I got a box with four holes in it. Then, newspaper. Everybody does what they're going to be putting in the box differently. I used to shred. And I, when I mean shred, I used to go, you know, I used to do this. And I still do it sometimes, but I'm not going to shred today. I'm just going to shred to show you guys how I'm such a great shredder. <laughs> but if I was a shred, I'd keep going like that, and I'd put it in there, and I'd make a nice little mess. This is the unprinted newspaper that I use for cleaning. So all I do is I loosely make newspaper balls out. So I like the way it's filling up the box. This is good for uh, allowing an air gap in between your snake and your heat pack. When you build this up, you'll have a two or three inch gap, whatever the distance is, you know, the, of your newspaper. Your heat pack's on the bottom, then you got the air gap of this news cake, of this uh, crumpled newspaper, then you've got the snake. So it makes a nice air gap. Your snake doesn't have to worry about actually being right on top of the heat pack. It makes it nice and cozy. So I got this the way I like it. It's about like that. They're all balled up and put in there. Then I'll take this and the two sheets. I'll fold them like this. Roughly fold them in half. 
and I lay them in on top of it. So now, what I got is something that looks like that. Two nice sheets flat. Then I've got the crumpled underneath of them, the heat packs that go below that. But this also makes it nicer if the snake were to go to the bathroom or get a little juicy in there. It all runs down and gets away from the snake. So now we got the holes in it, we got the paper, the whole nine yards. This box is semi ready. Now I get my paperwork ready. And what I do is here's a standard snake bag that I use. These are money bags. I get these from Alabama Bag, and this is what they keep coins or cash in, I'm not sure. They work. But what I do, I've got the snake, the bag that the snake is going in, and I am selling 07 male spider number one. So I go 07 male spider. Man, that sound awful. Number one, initial it. Date, and that's what you got.